Hello, my name is Sheena Warman. I'm a small animal medicine clinician at the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom. Um, and I've been asked to give you a short talk today about investigating polyuria and polydipsia as very common presenting signs in canine and feline patients. So an outline of what we're going to talk about. Very briefly, we're going to remind you a little bit about what areas of physiology you may need to revise. And if they feel completely unfamiliar to you, then you might need to go back and look at some physiology notes before you watch the rest of this presentation. Uh, we're going to discuss what causes polyuria and polydipsia. And note that they're often abbreviated to PUPD, so you might hear me say that quite a lot during the presentation. Um, and then we're going to talk about uh, a clinical approach to investigating PUPD um, as a presenting problem in a dog or cat that comes to you in the clinic. So very briefly to start with a little bit of basic physiology. So we need to think about a couple of things. We need to think about what drives thirst in our patients and we need to think about what controls the amount of water that is lost in the urine through the kidneys. So when um, extracellular fluid osmolality increases, that is detected by osmoreceptors in the central nervous system. And that um, eventually triggers release of angiotensin II, which stimulates the thirst center in the brain, and also triggers the release of antidiuretic hormone from the pituitary gland, which leads to water conservation in the kidneys. It's also worth a little think about renal physiology at this point. So what this diagram here shows us um, is a diagrammatic representation of a nephron. So the glomerular filtrate, when it leaves the Bowman's capsule, um, comes through the glomerulus um, and into the proximal convoluted tubule is isotonic to plasma. In the proximal convoluted tubule, sodium, glucose and water are resorbed. Um, the filtrate then passes down into the loop of Henle, where sodium is preferentially resorbed without water, and that helps to create with the um, vasorector vessels as well, helps to create the um, very concentrated medulla that we get in the kidneys. Um, and then in the distal convolution,